Hi, I'm Rich Brown for CNET. We're here today to do sort of a hands-on first look at the Pico Brew Zymatic Automated Home Beer Making Machine. This system will sell for about $2,000 when it hits retail. Uh, it was $1,800 if you got in on the Kickstarter. The idea behind this is that it's supposed to make anybody be able to get a recipe online, uh, load it on the Zymatic, and then automate the home brew making process. The system is connected to the internet and it will go up to your profile on the Pico Brew website where you've assigned recipes that you want to make. There's a whole library of recipes on Pico Brew. You can also make your own. And the machine will automate the whole process uh, as far as heating up the grain, boiling through the hops, and then once you're in the chill process, it's pretty much the same as when you make beer at home. You set the beer aside, let it ferment for two weeks or so, then you can keg or bottle it however you prefer. So today we're making a Chipotle porter, at least that's what we're hoping to do. So we have six different kinds of grains mixed up in this pot right here. We're gonna take those grains and dump them here in the main chamber. Then we're gonna add the hops. So to start with that, we're gonna measure it out real quick. Put one set in one chamber, another set in the other chamber, and then load those in in the back of the hopper. Now we're all set with our ingredients. We're gonna load the whole hopper into the Zymatic. I already have water in the keg. Now we'll go over to the menu. I'll select the recipe for my profile. Hit brew, and we'll see you in a couple weeks to see how this turns out. Now we have some other plans for how we're gonna test out the system. We have one of the local brewers here in uh, Louisville, Kentucky from Against the Grain. They're gonna help us test this thing out. For myself, I have basically no experience home brewing, so I'm coming at this from a, as a total rookie. And hopefully at the end of all this, we'll have a pretty good idea of how well the Zymatic can meet the needs of any different level of home brewer. All right, so we're here with the very first beer from the Pico Brew Zymatic. It is ready to tap. It's been carbonating here for about the last week. So I'm gonna shut off the CO2. I'm gonna disconnect this hose. Got my tap hose here. Let's see how it goes. I bet it's gonna be pretty foamy. So again, this is the Pico Pale Ale. This is the very first beer I made with the Zymatic. Definitely some user error involved along the way, but overall it seems like a relatively respectable pale ale. So last week we tried out our pale ale. This week we've made a new beer. This is a Chipotle Porter. Just about to take this one off uh, the gas as well. Uh, so where this one we want it to be kind of bittery and hoppy, the idea for this one is because it's a darker beer, we want it to be a little bit of a richer flavor, and that's sort of the test for the Pico Brew with this one. All right, here we go. It's a good beer. <laughs> Definitely like this better than that one. Very full flavor. All right, so we've got one more beer to go, and after that we'll have a full review. All right, so this is the last test for our Pico Brew Zymatic review. We're here at the Against the Grain Brewery here in Louisville. We've got a bottle of their Citra Ass Down beer right here. They also have it on tap. And here's the growler to the stuff we made back in our lab. Uh, Adam Watson, the brewer here, did make this stuff uh, on, the, on the Zymatic. So the whole idea is just to kind of see how well each of these translates. And we're gonna do a blind taste test. We've got four uh, panelists of four drinkers behind us. So I'm gonna set this up and we'll see uh, what they think. All right, coming at you. We had everybody put on blindfolds. We had everybody uh, taste one beer at the same time and uh, they were able to tell with 100% accuracy what beer came from what brewing process. All right, which number was the stuff we brought? This is off a keg. This is the stuff we made off the Pico Brew. Very different, very different. The big flavor difference is a very, very strong diacetyl presence, which, to be fair to the, the system, uh, is 
largely a product of fermentation rather than the actual uh, work production process. Adam used the term buttery, and that's I think I would apply to this one, yeah. And I guess if we're being accurate, the, the Pico Brew thing uh, isn't a beer making machine, it's a wort making machine. Uh, then once you have wort, the yeast make beer. So there's definitely some things we like about the Pico Brew Zymatic quite a bit. The fact that it gives you a running log of the temperature uh, throughout your brew process gives you some good data. The fact that you can share recipes and uh, kind of like store your recipe online, download it to the system. Uh, all that is pretty useful and it does kind of simplify the process of dumping in grain, putting in hops, getting in in the right time and temperature. Uh, overall though, it is certainly not an automatic beer machine. You still have to get the fermentation process right. You still have to uh, cool your wort coming out of the uh, brewer. So there's certainly a lot of hands-on involved here still. Whether that makes the $2,000 Zymatic worth it, if it's not gonna quite automate the whole process for you, that's sort of between you and your uh, passion for making beer in your wallet. But uh, overall, this thing pretty much does what it says it's gonna do. There's still a lot left for you to do, though, if you wanna make beer with this thing at home. So I'm Rich Brown. We're here at the Against the Grain production facility here in Louisville, Kentucky. I'd like to thank the guys here at Against the Grain for helping us out with all this. This has been our review of the Pico Brew Zymatic beer making machine.